The front drum brake on this uh, early 90s Gazelle Roadster makes a loud skipping noise when you have uh, almost come to an halt. It's kind of annoying and somewhat scary. This drum brake was made by Gazelle but it is very similar to a Sturmy Archer but it is on the other side of the front axle. There's not a whole lot of play but I can easily repeat that uh, sound just by pushing down this lever with my thumb. I think there might be rust inside this drum but yeah I'm not really sure but since it is the front wheel it's rather easy to take it uh, out of the bicycle and uh, clean it. Hopefully that will uh, fix this uh, annoying problem. I don't know if you can hear this but there is a slight rubbing sound coming from uh, the drum brake. Maybe that's a uh, rusty patch. And as usual these Van Schotter stainless steel rims sound like they are uh, full with weld spatter. Not sure if the camera will pick this up. Unfortunately, I cannot simply unhook this front rod like the rear one. I will have to spin off this uh, nut. <laughs> Not long enough. And of course this is a nylock nut so I cannot take it off with my hands. Now this fits. Finally. And now the uh, wheel should come out. Got it. I need to be careful that I'm not going to lose this little plastic piece. So I'm taking it out. Let's put this wheel in the vise. The front axle doesn't have any uh, flats, so I'm holding it in the vise with the uh, with the jam nut, and that uh, might start to spin whenever I take off uh, the jam nut on the other side. Strange, I cannot easily recreate that rubbing sound when trying to spin the wheel in the opposite direction. All right, let's take this uh, jam nut off. And this is a 17 uh, millimeter. And this should be a cap that sits over the cone. A washer. And now I should be able to take off uh, the drum brake. But first I will uh, reposition the camera. This is the uh, best point of view that I uh, can create for you. My tripod cannot go any higher. And there's the drum rack. So the inside of the drum looks cleaner than I expected. There's just some uh, brake dust. Actually there's more brake dust than I uh, expected. That patch there looks a bit weird. But it is definitely not heavily worn, although I can feel a slight wear pattern, but yeah, you can basically feel any surface irregularities with your, uh, with your nails. I expect uh, this uh, will still be okay, but I will do some uh, light sanding around the uh, circumference. Also, there is a lot of brake dust in this uh, groove, so I'm going to clean that out. And uh, since this bicycle is from the uh, 90s, I don't uh, expect this uh, brake dust to contain any uh, asbestos. 
But yeah, better be safe than sorry. Here's the drum brake lining. And uh, to my untrained eye, this uh, still looks uh, reasonably clean. And there's plenty of uh, brake material left. But on the other side, that has uh, accumulated a whole lot of uh, brake dust. Maybe this uh, was causing an issue. I don't know. I will uh, clean this off under under the uh, under the kitchen sink with some hot water, and then uh, I can reassemble it again. I just rinsed off all of the brake dust, and I noticed it says Sturmy Archer England here. And since this uh, has a rather short brake reaction arm, I'm convinced that this uh, drum brake lining came or is originally intended for a uh, rear brake. So next I'm going to uh, sand the, uh, the brake shoe material lightly. It is uh, not yet completely dry. I cleaned the inside of the drum and I noticed that this uh, wheel or axle doesn't use a cup and cone. These are sealed cartridge bearings. And I also noticed some weird spots on the, uh, on the brake surface. Here, there, there and there. It feels like they are low spots. So I don't think uh, they will be a problem, but I am going to send the whole circumference of the drum. After sending the drum, you can clearly see a bit of a wear pattern. I don't expect this uh, will be a problem, but I'm hoping for a positive result from my work. So after cleaning and sanding everything, let's reassemble this. And I must say, I found this drum brake lining or this drum brake material a bit gummy. Maybe it's because of the water I used. I don't know. But it was uh, different than uh, than the older drum brakes that I had apart in the past. Maybe it's because it no longer has any uh, asbestos washer, this cap or sleeve, and now a jam nut. And since this no longer has a cup and cone, I don't have, uh, have to waste any time adjusting this. It already feels a whole lot better in both directions. So let's reinstall this wheel in the bicycle. Placing this wheel back in the frame is a bit awkward because I need to line up uh, the brake rod, the brake reaction arm and the fork all at the same time. And that can be somewhat frustrating. But this is only my first take, so let's hope for the best. And I don't know if you can hear this on camera because a neighbor started his uh, chainsaw or weed whacker. Man, I just noticed that this axle does have flats. Damn, I can be so stupid. <sighs> I guess those flats need to line up with the uh, the brake arm, otherwise it will not fit. And this just became more complicated. So I will definitely switch the camera off. I guess I'm a bit of a narcissist, so let's try and... Uh, catch this on film. 
after I have set the uh, brake reaction arm parallel with the flats on the axle. And hopefully they will now slide into the fork. Yep, I guess that worked. Washers and axle nuts, small washer and a uh, nylock nut. I guess that's tight enough for now. No, too much drag. I'm going to back it off. So now I'm going to take this bicycle out for a test ride and then we know more. But it already feels a lot better. Unfortunately, there still isn't a whole lot of stopping power. But if I adjust the uh, brakes any further, there will be drag. And I do not like drag. Hopefully with some use, they will get better. So it's a couple of weeks later, but unfortunately the uh, brake hasn't really improved. In fact, as you can hear, the bloody noise is back. Worse than ever. And as you can see, the bicycle is missing its left crank arm. This, uh, this bolt came loose and that kind of fucked up the uh, square tapered hole. So for now this bicycle is out of commission. The Brooks B66 leather saddle that I uh, fixed up near the beginning of the year. And I installed this at the beginning of the summer. is still sitting fine and the uh, leather cover it's still okay. I was worried that it might be sagging a little bit over time. I did uh, retention the uh, tensioning pin just a little bit as it uh, started to squeak a lot and that helped a little bit. Although it is uh, still squeaking more than I like. But yeah, I guess that's one of the uh, charms of a Brooks B66 uh, leather saddle. Um, the broken uh, frame uh, the steel broken frame near the uh, back of the uh, saddle is uh, starting to give me some problems. I might have to uh, take out all of these uh, uh, rivets and try and uh, weld the frame again. But the saddle is still sitting fine. Unfortunately the bicycle is no longer riding at this point. So I guess uh, that needs to be fixed at some point.